So the first tool we have here is Sharpen and Hard Op. So if we select the cylinder and press Q, you're going to see an option here for Sharpen. Now there's a few different settings in the Sharpen tool. Uh, very generically, if you just click on Sharpen, which we do 90% of the time, what it does is it applies smoothness and then it applies an auto smooth to it. So if we were to right click auto smooth and then, or right click smooth and then go to auto smooth under normals, this is the same thing as using sharpen. Now there's also other options in sharpen. The default one is left mouse button, which is S sharp. Uh, S sharp and C sharp are the two main sharpen options. Very uh, simple difference. S sharp just sharpens it, applies smoothness and auto smooth. Whereas C sharp does the same thing, but it also applies modifiers in your stack. So to apply a C sharpen, you would control click. You can see if you hover over it, there's a bunch of different settings. So say for example, I was in here and made a cut on this side. You can see we have a Boolean in here. If I control click sharpen, this applies a C sharp and you can see that applies the modifier. Whereas if I just did an S sharp by clicking it, it would not apply the modifier. There are a few different settings in here that we don't use too much, but I'll go over them. So shift clicking it allows you to adjust the auto smooth angle by just dragging your mouse to the left and right. There's another option in here where if you alt click it, this will add a weighted normal modifier. And there's one more on the bottom, which I never really use, but if you have to recalculate your sharpening options, maybe after, you know, making a few adjustments to it, you could control shift click and recalculate the sharpen. Uh, in general, I only use the S-sharp, C-sharp, and weighted normal options, so those three. Auto-smooth interactive and recalculations I never really touch.